Alright, let's do this. What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number 104 and today guys we are returning with the FA Cup Final. First time Newport County have ever got to a domestic cup final. And we're taking on Patrick Vieira's Crystal Palace. So we overcame Sal uh, Swansea sorry, in a South Wales FA Cup semi-final. That was classic man. And Palace beat the Canaries by three goals to one in a battle of the birds. So the Eagles are through to take on Newport County. We are definitely favourites for it. And of course, I've done some sneaky editing because I've not played the last game of the last episode yet against Leicester City. I just demolished Norwich 5-1 in the week. Gavin Humphrey scoring five. And I honestly, man, it's so funny because also you would have seen the Leicester game in the last episode. I haven't played it yet. And I am just like gleaming right now knowing that Humphrey is two goals away from getting to the Magic 40. All, all I can say is I really hope that, you know, you would have seen it. In the last episode, I managed to get the goals to get him to 40 ahead of the final day away at the Etihad Stadium. So, heading into the game, uh, he's indeed our first ever FA Cup final. By the way, real briefly on Gavin, not only has got a chance to win the Golden Boot, which should happen now, and of course get to the Magic 40 as well. Um, but of course, he could win the FA Cup Golden Boot. That's incredibly likely now. And also... Maybe even the Champions League golden boot. A clean sweep for Gavin. Let's see how he gets on in the final after the big five goals against Norwich. Worth pointing out, my form recently has been really poor. Yes, we just demolished the Canaries, but two draws against PSG and Chelsea. Before that, I lost to Arsenal. So only one win in our last four games. We had a loss to Liverpool so soon before that as well. So if you look at it here, it's just two wins in four, two wins in six, three wins in seven. And that's hardly the sort of form you need when you're chasing the treble. Anyway, heading into the game, as you see, our lineup here, there are a few tired legs, unfortunately. So, Ben Kabango, I'm going to drop him for Brandon Cooper, who's not a bad standing whatsoever. Webb is, of course, our cup goalkeeper. Uh, Rishesha, God, I, I, uh, he's been one of our unsung heroes of this series, let alone this season. But what I'm going to do is uh, push Nico Williams to his preferred right hand side and start Norrington Davis in this FA Cup final. Ben Davis, the vet, we might need his leadership out there. He'll start ahead of Mpadu. And whilst Gavin isn't exactly what you call fully fit for this game, do you really think the captain's going to miss the FA Cup final as we go and search for our first ever domestic cup final? Yeah, let's drop him to the bench for Tyler Roberts. No, let's not do that. <laughs> so, heading into the game, this is it. Crystal Palace in the final. I've got to say, not the best run of form, just three wins in our last seven games. Having said that, I do feel confident that we can pick up our first domestic cup here. We had to come through Liverpool, we had to come through Arsenal, but wins over Luton and Swansea Championship sides set up this cup final. We are definitely favourites for it, no doubt about it. All I'll say is this, fail to win this and it will be a bottle job, no exceptions. Come on, Newport County. Pointing out, Crystal Palace actually have a pretty decent team. Uh, Brian Gill is on the left wing for them today. Emil Smith Rowe through the middle of the park. And keep your eyes on Jay Stansfield, the striker, uh, Fulham, uh, Fulham forward, who has scored against me multiple times in this save, both for Fulham and Crystal Palace. So, yeah, I don't think this will be a routine one sided de demolition job here at Wembley. I, I really don't. I know we came through Swansea relatively comfortably, but they're a mid table championship side right now. I expect this to be a much tougher game, especially with our poor run of form, just three wins in our last seven. But a fast start is what I'm after in this game. Get an early shot on target, test the goalkeeper. That's what I'm looking for as Rabi tries to slide through. Gavin couldn't do so. Palace will clear. That's the key for me in this game. Early shot on target and an early goal perhaps. And I think that would possibly settle a lot of nerves. Early corner. Crystal Palace form of Gunner Smith Rowe whips it in. Dan James doesn't win the aerial... Oh my god! Just, right, hang on a second, just let me calm down for a sec and we'll get it clear. Oh my goodness. Well, you guys know me, man. Like, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Oh, it's onto the roof of the net. Oh, what an end to end sequence. Oh my god. Millimeters. Lloyd, Lloyd to the rescue with a goal line clearance. That's definitely on the line. It's the right call, but oh my goodness. 
Now, I was going to say, you guys know me. Like, I, I tend not to hoof the ball ever. And when I'm defending a corner because of how OP it is now to come on the counter so quickly utilizing the pace, I try and dribble or pass out. I try to dribble out inside or around the edge of my six-yard area. That is just playing with fire. And almost gifted Crystal Palace an easy goal. Lloyd, Lloyd, to the rescue on the defensive end. I think the first time I've ever uttered that sentence. And here come Palace again, buoyed by that chance. As Smith Rowe takes over down the right-hand side. Norris and Davis makes the tackle. And we shall get it away and take a little bit of a breather. But in FIFA career mode, there's very little time to take breathers. Especially in FIFA 22 because of how quick the game is played. Ball play through, Pedersen clears. Palace will get it away. Frenetic start in the opening 19 minutes. I'm approaching half an hour mark. I've got to say, Crystal Palace has been a better team in this first half. And that's a big, big interception by Rodden and Cooper together. Just sandwiched. I think it was Stansfield there. And we'll get the danger away. This has been a poor opening half an hour. I'm not really too surprised. Again, poor run of form recently. As Norrington Davis is through. Oh, and I've smashed it wide. I saw Gavin making a run, but tightly marked. And I couldn't squeeze it in towards that far corner with Reese. 28 minutes in. There is absolutely no way we have repeated a Carabao Cup final last weekend. Goal is drive to two hours and then an epic penalty shootout. If that happens, I'll eat a book. I don't know why I just specified book. But even so, this has been a frenetic start. That first goal is surely coming probably before the break. Pal is clear. This is crazy, man. Someone's got to open this scoring at some point. What book will I choose to eat? I think I'd, I'd probably like pick a, um, a children's book, you know, it just says less pages for me to eat, as we'll get it through here with Lloyd Lloyd finding with Tony. Maybe, maybe a pop-up book, you know, for texture. <laughs> I don't know. There's Rabi down the right-hand side. Holds the ball up wisely. and will recycle possession and find Ben Davis the vet into the feet of Gavin. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. He's just on fire, but couldn't finish the move off. Damn it. That was the chance. Dean Man all ends up, but missed the target. Somehow, still nil-nil. What book am I going to be choosing? <laughs> Is there a, a one-page book available on Amazon? I'm going to be looking for it at <laughs> half-time at this point. Still tied at nil-nil. And uh, Palace coming forward with Jay Stansfield through to Brian Gill. There is Nico Williams with the tackle. What well, I'm noticing, we've got a lot more energy than Crystal Palace. And I talk about this a lot. Sometimes you'll notice that the AI teams have far less stamina than your team. Oh, what a ball. And the book is safe. And I'll choose something else for dinner. Finally, the breakthrough is made. And it's Rabi with the goal. Yeah, sometimes you'll notice that the AI team is heading into the game. Or during the game, their stamina depletes so quickly. Due to mismanagement and fitness. And it's one of the big reasons why I feel like I'm able to compete for longer stretch during the season. You might notice that even before the game, my decision making for the players who would start this game was largely based on stamina and energy. That's why Rishesha, who was basically fine, missed out of this clash. Same with Ben Cabango, because I do believe that having a fitter and fresher side could at times, especially in late season situations, be so, so beneficial. Matondo opens the scoring. Thank goodness for that. It is sixth of the competition as we take the lead right before the break. It's about time as well. So many chances. Finally, one ends up in the back of the net. So, half-time at Wembley. And I've got to say, we've been the better team, no doubt about that. But have had to get the ball cleared off the line through Lloyd Lloyd. But Rami's goal does separate the sides. And I've got to say, I still see Palace scoring in this second half. Get a two-goal cushion, I think we'll be all right. But I think the next goal is crucial in this game. So, we're past the hour mark. Second half's been nothing like the first. Nothing going on thus far. We still... Currently lead by a single goal. I'm just thinking at what point do I consider taking off my star individuals out there? Your Rabi Matondos, your Dan Jameses, your Lloyd Paynes. Because don't forget, I've got the Leicester game to come midweek. You've already seen it. You've already seen the conclusion of that. But I want my starters to be fit for that game. Because as talked about earlier, you know fatigue and freshness is so important in career mode. But... I don't want to risk taking on my starters and then Palace getting a level. I could really do with a two-goal cushion, but it's not forthcoming. It's just been a game lost in the middle of the park in the second half. Careful. 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 Oh, I cannot stand it when the AI cut in from the flanks. Brian Gill with the leveller, and I'm not one bit surprised. First half, I feel like I used up all my energy. I've done nothing in the second, but look at this. Look at this. You know, when some people say, why don't you put a tackle in? 
Well, sometimes I agree with you. A lot of the time, I mistime it slightly against the AI and Ultimate with their footwork and quick passing. You mistime it slightly, you're giving away a penalty. But sometimes, it just looks embarrassing. Terrible run of form recently. Three wins in seven, and now tied with just over a quarter of an hour to go. And if it goes into extra time with Leicester in midweek, I tell you what, I am bottling this domestically this season. I would not be one bit surprised if I lose to Leicester and need to win on the final day to win the title against Man City away. Oh, net rippling, but it's the roof of it. I, I don't know what to do. Do I take my starters off? Oh, it hit click the top of the bar, actually. This is such a frustrating game. I want to take Matondo off. I, I, I want to take Dan James off. Uh, you know, I want to take Nico Williams off. Potentially Humphreys, do I rarely ever sub the captain off? Leicester in the week. I, I cannot have tired legs for that game there. Chasing the title and potentially and probably needing to win. But I can't take my starters off, man. No way. Ben Davis down the left. Not got the pace, so I'll work it in field two, Dan James. And Matondo making the run. Yes! Jason! Gavin not at his best in the final. After five goals in a week, who's there to pick up the slack? His bro, the Robin to his Batman, Rabbi Matondo. The Steedsters, who I often sub off early in a game, for freshness, have just combined for potentially the FA Cup winning goal. And, I'm, and now I'm going to take him off. Now I'm going to trust that the boys can get the job done. Well done, Dan. Well done, Rabi. I'll need you both against Leicester in the week. But now they're going to come off. Will this backfire? And take off Payne as well for Terry Taylor. This is a big, big decision here. Taking off three of my absolute best with seven minutes to go in the cup final. I trust the boys. Come on. You might say it's only seven minutes of rest. Is it really worth it? Well, with Leicester in the week, I'll take even 30 seconds of rest time. I mean, seriously, I need to make... Oh, Gavin, brilliant. I need to make sure my stars are fit for that game because I do not want to surrender a chance to retain the title at, uh, against the Foxes in our final home game of the season. There is a minute and a half of normal time to play. We lead by a goal. Are we going to see it out or are Palace going to force extra time? And what has been a very good FA Cup final? This is probably their last chance here. Three minutes of added time. Three? Big block. Oh, we don't like this. Well done. Brandon Cooper. Oh, surely. Oh, bound. I held down triangle. Just ref. Look, blow it now, please. Yes. I tell you what, when the AI have got the ball in and around the edge of your area with a minute to go and you're holding on for dear life, it is terrifying. But I tell you what, Palace really made me work for that, but we will definitely take it as deserved winners. Gavin pretty quiet in the final, but it was his bro that got it done with the brace. Our first ever domestic cup final, our first ever domestic cup honour. Newport County, FA Cup winners, and is it one of three as we chase the Magic Travel? Well, it's good to know for the first time ever, we've won the FA Cup. Well, I said this wouldn't be one-sided, and it wasn't. I'd say we definitely deserved it on the balance of play. I think the stats back that up as well, but Palace did cause me some problems. A equalising goal, a clearance off the line, a little bit of late drama there, but we held on for the victory in our first ever FA Cup. Man, oh man, I tell you, I knew it was going to be routine, and I really feel like, again, towards the end of this season, with my form being stuttering, I've not exactly been at my best. I think this is kind of exactly how I expected this FA Cup final to go. Thankfully, we did indeed come through with the trophy and the winner's medals as well. So, man, the match, hardly a surprise. A quiet one for Gavin in the FA Cup final, but who was there to bail him out? Of course, his bro, Rabi Matondo. The, the golden boot will be post, uh, passed on to Gavin this season. Question is, can he get to 40? But at least we know no matter what, there's a trophy in the cabinet and our first ever FA Cup of this save as well. Rabi's brace ensures we get it done at Wembley over Patrick Vieira's Crystal Palace.
Man, oh man, that was very hard for though to say the very least. But you know what? I've talked about it before as I close out today's episode. This is again one of the reasons why I really love this series and why I'm really enjoying this FIFA. Previous versions of this game, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to come across as arrogant, but back in the days of FIFA 14, 15, 16, a game like this, a final like this, there's no doubt about it. I, I probably would have won very convincingly, and yes, sometimes I will. But this year, it does seem much more games are like this one. Even games where you're big favourites, it's still so much harder to win. And at times, you've got to be on your game, and you've got to grind out the victory. You know, It's one of the reasons why I've really enjoyed this FIFA this year. You have to give EA some praise. Ultimate is a much harder difficulty, as it should be, for the top difficulty in the game. So there you go then, FA Cup winners for the first time ever for Newport County. I've got the Leicester game in midweek to come. You guys have already seen it. The question is, have I come through? Have I not? Well, you guys will know, but the next episode you'll see is the final day against Manchester City where I can't even tell you what we need to do because I don't even know how to put on the game of the season when. Even so, thank you for watching the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the animation for life. Much love to you. will have a fantastic day and I'll see you for the following episode. It is going to be the uh, Premier League final day against Manchester City as we chase a historic treble. Have a great day, guys. Much love and I'll see you for another episode of Season 7 very soon.